What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. It is 5, 10 p.m. and I want to get down to business real quick. You see, today I wasn't really going to film a video, but I finished some stuff up earlier than expected. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to jump in front of the camera, enjoy some coffee, and film a little watch rant for you. Mmm. As I spill it all over myself. So I'm currently wearing my Siegel 1963 chronograph, just an awesome little military piece. You know, it's not super well known. I know a few of you guys know about it, but maybe haven't seen it up close. So I urge you, check out the link in my description where I do an in-depth review of this watch. Just a tremendous amount of value with this piece. It is Chinese. I haven't had any problems with it. I haven't heard of anybody else having any problems with it. It's particularly well made, I think. Um, there's an attention to detail for sure. It's a stunning piece with a stunning dial. It has a good movement in it. And uh, the finishing quality is honestly pretty good, all things considered. So please check out the Siegel 1963. Okay, so as I said, today is going to be a bit of a watch rant because I don't know what's going on recently, but I've been getting a ton of questions about my opinions on Invicta watches. And I gotta be careful with what I say because I'm not trying to dissuade anybody from Invicta. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about owning an Invicta watch, but I'm gonna be honest, okay? Um, Invicta doesn't make anything that I'd want to wear or that I'd even want to look at. I know that feels harsh, but okay, what about the Pro Diver? What about the Pro Diver? What about the Pro Diver? Okay, they have one design that's acceptable because it looks kinda like a Submariner, but then how do you explain this, or this, or this, or what the fuck? Okay, it comes down to taste, and as a company, Invicta does not make anything that I'd ever be interested in. And look, I don't have anything against homages. Uh, if you want something that looks like a Rolex Submariner, then just save up a little bit and get a Steinhardt Ocean 1. Look who wanted to join the party. Oh, cutie pie. How do you feel about Invicta? He wouldn't wear one either. Look, I'm killing two birds with one stone here. I'm telling you how I feel about Steinhardt, and I'm telling you how I feel about Invicta. Steinhardt, go for it. It's a bit more expensive than an Invicta Pro Diver, but uh, the finishing quality is like exponentially better, okay? You're getting so much more watch with the Steinhardt Ocean One than you are with the Invicta Pro Diver. And uh, guess what? It's still a million times cheaper than a Rolex Submariner, so you're still saving a bunch of money. Certain things stand out to certain people, right? When I see a watch, like a Cartier tank, that stands out to me, okay? It's very simple, very refined, a bit subdued. But to me, that's like, wow! I immediately hone in on that. But to some people, you need this! to get tuned in, and if you're into that, if you're into something super grandiose, something that I would consider a bit grotesque, then that's just what you're into, okay? You're not wrong, you're just, well, you're wrong. So I hope I didn't offend anybody, um, but I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments how much of an idiot I am, um, but just remember, Link reads all the comments too, so you better be nice, <laughs> be nice. Guys, I also want to remind you that uh, my 5,000 subscriber watch giveaway is still going on until October 31st, so please, if you haven't taken advantage of that, just click the link in my description, enter, and uh, yeah, you could win a brand new Seiko SNK 809 and an awesome Barton Leather NATO strap, so honestly, what do you have to lose, guys? And guys, I want to thank you because probably... Uh, by the time this video uploads, my channel will be past 6,000 subscribers. Not in a million years did I imagine how quickly, how rapidly, how violently this channel has uh, grown, and it's all because of you. So guys, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, click that subscribe button. It takes one second, and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way, and you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and as you all know, this is the Cutie Pie link. And uh, we didn't invent time. Ow, ow, ow! I'm just kidding. We just tell it.